Oh, dang, here we go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Welcome back to once again to another COD Mobile video today. I hope everyone is doing well. Now, something has changed with the tank in Season 9 here. If you guys don't know, I am still currently playing on the Season 9 test server. This is probably going to be one of the final videos that I go and upload in regards to the test server, but we got the tank dropping in right away. Now, the tank has definitely changed from a spawning perspective. Not every single game will players go and get the tank, which I thought was really interesting. Now, obviously, this could go and change from from hitting the global servers but at least from going and playing on the test server here i actually had to go and wait two separate games in order to go and have the tank finally go and spawn in here so i don't know like do you guys like that in which the tank won't have a guaranteed spawn into a game but uh and also only one tank went in it dropped here i definitely probably should have took the helicopter but let's go and see if there is anything else that has changed with the tank here whether or not uh the damage might have gotten a little bit of an increase or if the tank is weaker now uh because if you guys don't know so already they did it for the season 8 update they did go and also nerf the tank additionally there but let's go and hop in and see what we can go and do so from like a bullet perspective, I'm pretty sure 32 shots is the same exact as last time here. I wouldn't mind trying to go and find some... Ooh, speaking of people to go and find, here we go. Oh, dang, I missed. That was uh, that was me just missing there. He's going to be inside of the building. It's going to be a little bit harder to go in. Oh, another guy right here. You also have to go and get the angle down correctly. Here we go. That should be good. That was me. Oh, okay. So that was a direct shot right there. It feels like from a damage perspective, it uh, it's about the same. Like, I wouldn't mind trying to go and find... Ooh, here, guy right up here. Oh, whoa. I don't know. I would say that was... That was definitely near the dude right there. Here, this time I'm going to purposely go off just a little bit. Oh, dang. Dude, yeah, I think they might have nerfed the tank from, like, a damage uh, upon other players' perspective, which is so interesting. And also, I'm looking at these people currently doing shots at my tank, too. I don't know if any of those shots have hit. Um, here, we'll try to go and do more of, like, a direct hit if I can. It's all about going and getting the right angle with the tank. If you're not properly lined up, it's going to be so difficult, but... Okay, that was a pretty easy kill right there. Bada bing. And then I did see some other dude off in the distance up here. Um, and also, if I'm not mistaken, there should be like a thermal option. Which, here, how, how would I go and do that? I have to enter in first person right here. Oh yeah, if you guys see to the left of my smoke, you can go into a thermal option. Oh, hey my dude. Which I'm assuming won't help in terms of like doing damage against other people, but I'm assuming it can probably go and help with the spotting people from farther distances away. Because at least when it came to like the dawn setting of the map, it was really difficult at times to go and pinpoint exactly where people were going to be. Uh, just due to them really blending in well with the background. But whenever you ADS and then turn on the thermal, that should make it so much easier to go and find people. So, I guess in a way, it got a little bit of a buff from, like, being able to go and spot people, but then a nerf from, like, the damage. That's at least, it's not 100% confirmed from, like, the damage perspective, but let's go and see what it's like when we go and shoot at the tank with the, something like an FHJ here. Also, War Machine is in that crate right there. Okay, here we go. Let's go and see. So, unfortunately, it doesn't give you a percentage with the tank here. But we go and hop in. Right now, I'd probably say it's at like 97% health or probably 95. We'll hop out. Also, after going and killing this dude. Pop down that. And then here we go. This is going to be one FHJ shot. Let's go and see how much damage that will go and do there. And that did about like 20% damage, not too crazy. Here, we'll go and shoot it at it another time here. 
That was another shot that went down. We'll hop in. So it doesn't seem like the tank has changed upon going and taking damage at it. I wonder if there's like a weak spot that might be in the tank here. Whoa, shot at it from the back there. Whoa. Dude, I think there might be like a weak spot in the in the tank. Um because yeah, I wanna say that kind of like back area right there might be new. But I would say that shot was a lot better in terms of doing damage to the tank than compared to other ones. Let's maybe, I don't know if I want to completely blow up the tank right now. I feel like I probably should have saved this part for last, but at least going and shooting at the tank, it seems like there might be a weak spot. And it's this like ventilation system that it has on the back. Now, is there anything different from like the gunner perspective? I would probably say no. It seems like about the same of what it was like last season. Um, it is kind of unfortunate how your movement is super restrictive. And here, we'll go and shoot this guy. Oh yeah, it is. It's still the not so good gunner seat as before here. But um, yeah, it's still it's still super restrictive. You're only able to go and look down the way in which the uh, barrel of the tank is going and looking. So you can't do like a full 360. It's more of like a 180 for your view there. But uh, very interesting nonetheless. Let's try to go and see the smoke. Oh, dang. The smoke definitely got a little bit of a nerf there too. Not as much smoke as beforehand. So, yeah, man, I'd probably say overall, even though the uh, ADS and then the thermal scope is kind of cool, I would have to say that the tank did indeed get a nerf, which is so interesting. I'm what? Ooh, what up, my dude? Oh, God. Yeah, the, the view is still all jacked up with it here. We'll try to climb up a little bit. Go and shoot at this dude from below. Yeah, the uh, the viewing of it is still not as solid. Let's actually just probably hop out of it here. Kill this dude. Adios, my friend. So in regards to dealing damage to the tank, it would appear that it's the same exact thing of what it was like in the previous season here. If you guys don't recall, when the tank first dropped in season 7, the amount of health, it actually took 6 FHJ shots to go and fully uh, blow it up here. While it would appear with the season 9 update, as well as in season 8 when they first initiated that, a uh, whole change it only takes four fhj shots which isn't actually too shabby but i think a lot of people might like that or might not like that because actually yesterday in my stream i died two times in a row back to back games by the tank but i still think it's a good thing to go and have in this game i know it's kind of a controversial take because a lot of people think it's just a very gimmicky uh thing to go and have in br here but in my opinion i still like the tank i think it's fine where it's at right now and i don't know if there is any additional changes that need to happen but with that said ladies and gentlemen wrapping up the video on that note thank you guys oh so very much for tuning in and watching my name is parker hopefully you guys will have an awesome rest of your day today and I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.